Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to easily use Adobe's new Firefly AI. And if you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing and leaving a like. So first things first, you need to gain access to the Adobe Photoshop beta. So you can do that by going into their Creative Cloud software and then signing up for a free trial if you don't want to pay for anything. Just make sure that when you sign up, you do it for a business slash company. That way you don't have to use your credit card. All right. And since I already have my free trial account, I'll just go to apps. And then down here is the beta apps on the left side. And then let's open Photoshop. Now, while that's opening, I'll just open up my Chrome so that we can get an image to experiment on. So here, maybe search something like, search like a house that we want to edit. I think something like this house would be good enough. Just save image as. And it's a WebP, but that's fine since Photoshop can handle WebP files. And here's Photoshop. And let's just go on the top left here and create a new file. Create. And then let's just get my image from Chrome. All right. All right, now that we have our experimental image here, just make sure that you use one of these two tools here. So this one here in the bottom is the lasso tool, and this one is the marquee tool. So this one basically just lets you use different shapes, and this one is more of like a free form. You decide what to draw or what to select. So as you can see, I can make circles or whatever shape I want. But for now, let's start with this garage door so i'm just gonna use the marquee tool since it's a square and ooh, there you go so in order to actually use adobe fireflies ai just click on the generative fill here and here you can describe what you'd like to generate so this is basically like talking to blue willow or even mid journey so let's see i want the, i want the garage door to be open with a car so car inside a house with the garage door open then click on generate and now it'll take a few seconds to generate the prompt that you inputted all right so it's almost done and there we go as you can see the results aren't that good but it does give you three variations here I'm liking this one more, it's more natural. And now what you can do is generate more by clicking the generate again. You can change the prompt here, or you can give feedback to the Firefly AI if it's a good result or a poor result. So this one is bad result. This one is not that good. And this one is a pretty okay result. All right, now that that's done, next thing I want to do is generate some dogs playing in my front yard over here. Generate to fill dogs playing in the driveway of a house. Outside, of course. Then click on generate once more. Wait another few seconds for it to generate. And there we go. And voila, it has, is that even a dog? <laughs> it has generated some dogs playing in my drive yard here. I think this one is the best one. And let's keep that one for now. And lastly, I want to generate some birds flying here on the top. Just click generate. Click on generate once more and again wait another few seconds and I think that's too big of a bird huh <laughs> so the great thing about Photoshop is we can resize this so we are in Photoshop so let's just try yeah like that and maybe I'll just edit this a little bit in order to fit with our background here Let's just make this bigger a bit. Let's 
So yeah, let's just keep this one bird over here. should be good enough and there you go there's our there's our little bird on top there's our car in the garage and there's our dogs playing around in the driveway so i'll just group these and show you guys the image before and after all right so if you found this video useful don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to watch all the upcoming videos and goodbye